What's up? Brandon Lilly here. Going to give you some tips on how to make eating big a little bit easier and a little bit better on your stomach and, and more digestible. One of the big complaints that I get from a lot of guys is, man, I just can't eat that much. I'm still full when it's time to eat my next meal, so I start skipping meals. Well, these are tricks and tips that I've picked up over the years that I still employ today that have made a huge difference in my my ability to eat a large quantity of food on on a schedule and um, you know not feel so full whenever it's time to eat again. First and foremost, drink water. By drinking cold water especially, um, it's going to keep your digestive system going. It's going to keep your metabolism going. For me, I can't just I, I don't enjoy drinking cold regular water. Um, it's not something that you're going to stick to if you don't enjoy it. So I always keep a jug of, um, of water with crystal light in it. It's simple, it tastes good, and it's easy to drink a lot more that way. I drink a gallon of water throughout the day, all right? I drink a gallon of water when I'm training. So I get in a total of two gallons of water. And, you know, I'm 300 plus pounds, so I'm not saying every person needs to drink two gallons of water. But what the advice that I do give you is applied to myself and I've applied it to other people and it works well. We just have to adjust the numbers accordingly to your body weight. So if you're 150 pounds, what I would strive for is to try to get in about a gallon to a gallon and a half of water, taking in about a half a gallon while you train. So that, you know, obviously we cut that in half. If you're 200 pounds, you know, do the math on that and figure that out. 250 pounds, do the math and figure that out. But water is going to be a crucial, crucial component to any successful diet for a powerlifter, bodybuilder, whoever. Um, you need hydration. And one of the things that people crack me up about is, is they don't take their hydration seriously. Well, muscle is about 70% consistent of water. So the more water in your system, the more fluid uh, that you're going to hold in the muscles, the more capability that the body has to function properly and the more muscle mass that you'll get, the more strength that you'll get from that muscle. So hydration is number one, absolute number one. Number two, I'm not a big person that likes to uh, pack a bunch of food with me. I mean, I just, I don't like to do it. Um, I'm, I guess you could say I'm lazy in that sense. But what I will take with me at all times is I'll take a protein shaker and I'll put four scoops of protein in it. That's 100 grams of protein. I usually put two scoops of uh, natural peanut butter in it. At any given time, I can make that shake, drink half of it now, and that's 50 grams of protein, about 15 grams of fat, and then um, you know save a little bit for later. And that way I've got two meals, essentially, on the go if I'm in a pinch. It's really, really easy to do. It's one shaker cup, two meals. I don't know how it can get much simpler than that. Another thing on that same note, when I go to bed, one of the things that I'll do is I'll take six scoops of protein and I'll put it in a shaker cup again with two tablespoons of protein or natural peanut butter and right as I'm falling asleep what I do is you know I'll get in the bed and I'll maybe watch a TV show or put a movie on and as I'm kind of drifting off one of the things I'll do is I'll I'll shake it up I'll drink half of it right then so I'm getting 75 grams of whey protein right before I go to bed along with some fat um, to the amount of about 15 grams of fat. So I'm getting around 400 carbs, I mean 400 calories total with that shake. And I'll save the other half for when I wake up in the middle of the night. It's another 400 calories in the in my sleep. So if I, if I remove that shake from the equation, I'm basically removing 800 calories from my day. And this is something that uh, you can adjust if you're trying to gain a little weight, put a scoop of ice cream in it, it's a great way to add some some extra fats and some carbs if you're trying to maintain weight or you know as I'm doing I'm trying to, to gain a little muscle mass without gaining fat keep it leaner just use the protein and fat now something else that I like to do I like to ground my oats up and I like to mash my rice and I like to mash my potatoes what I'm saying about that is um, the reason that I ground my oats is that way I can add them to a shake if I need to if I'm on the fly or um, I can make them and it's kind of like a cream of wheat consistency. It's a little bit, a um, little bit thinner, but I like to do that because it's easier to, to digest. Same for my potatoes, same for the rice. I have a rice cooker going at all times. Um, you know, it's, it's a 20, $25 investment. It's one of the best investments you can make if you're trying to eat big, 
But what I'll do is, is I'll make my rice and I, they come with a spatula. So I'll take my spatula and I'll just literally mash it down, mash it down, mash it down, flip it all over, turn it around, mash it, mash it, mash it. And with my potatoes, you know, I don't eat my potatoes whole. I take a fork and I just mash them as, you know, loosely as I can. And the reason that is, is when you put them into your stomach, if, you're, if they're already ground down and they're already started to break down, it's going to be that much easier for your stomach to break down. On, on that same principle, that's what I'll do with, um, with my beef or bison. Um, I love steak. I enjoy cooking steak. I, lo I love eating steak. But at the same time, if I eat a steak and I have to eat again two and a half hours later, a lot of times I'll still feel full. And that's because the steak is, is slowly digesting. So to, to do something different, what I always do is I, I buy ground sirloin, 90-10, and I'll just put it in the pan, cook it, and the whole time I'm cooking it, I'm taking my spatula and I'm breaking it down, breaking it down, breaking it down into the finest pieces that I can possibly get. So you add that really finely cooked ground beef, add that to your, you know, ground rice or your ground, um, you know, potato or your mashed potato, and you've got a, a, a meal that's about the consistency of baby food. And I know that sounds sick and it's not really appetizing, but you know what? If you're actually dieting or you're actually on a nutrition plan where you're eating five to six solid food meals a day, you've got to understand you're eating for, f for fuel. You're not necessarily eating for taste and for comfort. You're eating for fuel in your body and you want that fuel readily available. So you want to make it easier on your di digestive system. That's, that's the two easiest things I know about the beef and the, the rice because when I eat that stuff, I feel like my stomach expands because the rice is just absorbing all the, all the fluids that I put into my body and the a steak just sits there. So by breaking down the ground beef, by breaking down the rice, I'm doing my body some favors. And one of the other things that I know is I hear a lot of people talk about, especially when I posted the picture on Instagram last night, you know, the 150 gram shake that I make, they're like, oh my God, it would upset my stomach. You know, I'd be going to the bathroom all the time, just killing my stomach. A lot of times the reason that is, is because of the air that's in the shaker cup or the air that's created when you're shaking up the protein. You know, that gets real bubbly and it gets really, like, loose, I guess is what you could call it. It expands. So I make all my protein shakes ahead of time and I let them sit. I put them in the refrigerator and I let them sit, you know, at least 30 minutes before I drink them. And that gives the air time to process out and the, for the liquid to come back to, you know, a more fluid state instead of just being this loose, foamy uh, consistency. And a lot of times that's where the issue arises is you take protein, which can be sometimes... Um, hard to digest for some people and you add a bunch of air to it you're just creating a perfect storm for problems so by letting the air break down get back to a liquid state uh, you're going to do yourself some favors there and last but not least bromelain that's a supplement that you can buy it's, it comes from pineapples um, bromelain is just a simple digestive enzyme that you can buy um, anywhere online any of your really good supplement stores online um, you know, a lot of places locally, I think GNC carries it now. Um, I know I've gotten it at Rite Aid before. But anyway, bromelain is about the best um, digestive aid that you can give yourself. It has a lot of anti-cancer qualities to it. Uh, it aids in muscle recovery. It aids in tendon recovery and ligament recovery. It's also something that's really good for someone like myself who is who's recovering from multiple surgeries. Um, along with the digestive benefits. So hopefully those tips helped. Hopefully you can apply them and hopefully they make sense. So um, anyway, that's my tip for the day and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Thanks.